Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle rant brought to you by Redcon One. Visit redcon1.com. Today's topic, it's the NPC Nationals week. Of course, it's got to be NPC Nationals. And you know what? A lot of people always ask me, Dave, what was your most memorable experiences personally when you competed at the NPC Nationals? And, you know, I've competed, I don't even know how many I competed. I did compete at a lot of them. Two of them stick out in my mind as probably the most memorable. I would have to say that the 1996 Nationals, okay, probably, and I think that was my first one ever, sticks out, you know, really, really strongly to me. Because that was the year that Jay Cutler won his class, but lost the overall to light heavyweight Willie Stalling. Now, to take a step back to the year before that, 1995, I did my first junior Nationals, and I won the heavyweight class. I was 258 pounds. I think I was one of the biggest amateurs of all time at that point. And I lost the overall to 198-pound Willie Stalling, which drove me crazy because I really didn't think I deserved to lose it. But whatever the case may be, um, the next year, um, I wind up back on the national stage. Willie Stalling shows up and not only wins uh, his class, the light heavyweight class, he beats Jay Cutler in the overall. But in that heavyweight class, it was, a, it was an epic heavyweight class because it was Jay uh, winning, Tom Prince a very close second, Tom was a little off. Jay wasn't his best either, but you know Jay was good enough to win the class. Orville Burke, who was a genetic freak, you know, with, with tiny, tiny waist. This is before he got really, really big, but he was, he was impressive. He was in the best shape of his life. He was third, and I came in fourth at that show. And, uh, you know, I was the biggest guy in the class, and I was probably the hardest guy in the class by far. Um, you know, structurally, maybe I wasn't the best guy. I thought it was, it was a good look. You know, I, I, I thought, you know, in my mind, I, 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 I thought I was going to win, you know, but I was naive because it was very early in my career still. Uh, it was very early in Jay's career, too. Jay was obviously younger than I was. I had only really been competing about three, four years at this point. Um, but I was thrilled to make the top five, which was my first top five at a national level pro qualifier. So to me, that sticks out in my mind because of that. Um, I also went there with a nutrition company that had formulated the supplement line for it. It was called Huge Nutrition. They were only around for about two years. And we had a big booth there. So I felt like it was, I felt special at that show. It was, it was something that was very memorable to me. Uh, I probably, I would say, you know, of all the other shows throughout the, uh, throughout my career that I did at the NPC national level, the, the other one that was very memorable to me was the 2002 NPC nationals in, in Dallas. I think actually both of those shows were in Dallas, Texas. And that was the one where I lost the, uh, the heavyweight class to Tony Freeman. Now, the Tony Freeman that beat me at the 2002 nationals was not the Tony Freeman that went on to win all those pro shows. He had just come back, he had a big, he had like a five or six year layoff because he had had a torn pack and he didn't think it would ever be repaired properly and they fixed it and he came back. So he wasn't that big, he was in pretty good shape. You know, he had the Tony Freeman X-Man frame obviously, which is probably what, what won it for him. But, you know, a lot of people thought I, I should have won that show. To me, that was the first time I ever played second at a, at a national show like that. So I was really happy with that. But then when I started thinking about it afterwards, I'm like, you know, I could have I got a pro card. Because all you had, at the time, all you had to do was win your class. Now, if that show was taking place today, I would have been pro because they give top two uh, in each class at the nationals, the pro card. But, yeah, I lost to Tony at that show. Tony went on to win the overall, and then a couple years later, I went up working with Tony, you know, for many, many shows for a couple of years, and we had a really good run together. Uh, probably, you know, topped off with that 2008 um, fifth place finish at the Olympia, where he looked absolutely stellar. I, I thought he should have won that year. Uh, that was the year that Dexter Jackson beat Jay. So, you know, there's a lot of memories involved in that show. Also, a, a good friend of mine, Dave Watson, won, was second at the light heavyweight class, and I helped him for that show. So I was second in the heavy. Dave was, oh, actually, I was second in the super heavy, excuse me, the super heavy class. Dave Watson was second in the heavyweight class behind Jojo Nineforo, another guy who kind of recently had a resurgence in his career. So a lot of great history at the NPC Nationals. Uh, you know, I just always loved that show. It was something that I, you know, really felt resonance with. I felt like I can relate to it. It was more of an East Coast show, even though it wasn't always held on the East Coast. I just felt like that was like the end of the year show. It kind of topped off everything. For some reason, USA, even though I did play second at that show as well and third a couple times, I, I, I always felt better. I always felt a, something like a kinship to the Nationals. I felt like that was the show that I was going to turn pro at. And you know, of course, it never happened, but uh, I had a lot of good experiences, met a lot of great people there. Um, you know, a lot of people who are no longer with us, from Steve Stone to Kenny Castle uh, to a lot of people, like I said, that, that just 
were stalwarts in the in the bodybuilding world. They were always there. It was like after a while, going back to that show was like just going back to to see old friends again. It was it wasn't even a nerve wracking thing anymore because of the comfort level that the expediters gave you backstage at the show. And it was the it was something that like you know what if I ever turn pro and, and aren't here anymore, it's like I'm gonna miss it a little bit. And I and I do I miss I miss that backstage you know uh, camaraderie. Even though some people were very quiet and there was a lot of competitiveness there, for some reason when you get backstage, everyone's nerves kind of just are alleviated as they talk to other competitors. And I made and I made a lot of good friendships backstage at these shows. So if you've never done the NPC Nationals and it's a show that's maybe on your on your bucket list or a show that's in your future, I can promise you that you'll have a great experience there. It's a great show, and I'm looking forward to seeing who our emerging next NPC national champion is going to be this weekend. I hope you guys can develop your own great stories and great memories of the show, and I'm sure you will. And maybe, you know, maybe we'll get the NPC national overall champ on Heavy Muscle TV next week, and we can actually interview him and find out what his great experience was with the nationals. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle Redcon 1 rant.